So is the Apple HomePod mini still worth buying? Let's find out. Hey, it's Matt here and today I want to talk about the Apple HomePod mini and my smart home setup. I've had this yellow friend for a year at my home and I have created a little bit of love-hate relationship with it. I mean, it looks nice, the spherical design fits well in my apartment, the bright yellow color is stunning and the materials from which is this device made are really neat. Also, for such a small device, it can deliver impressive sound quality when listening to music, podcast and even having a phone call. The design? Check. Build quality? Check. And sound quality? Also check. So let's dive into the smart assistant bit of this device. Because that's the main point of the video, right? The HomePod mini works through Wi-Fi as a smart hub with virtual assistant Siri. You can connect various smart devices to your home and control them through the device using voice commands. One quick tip, be careful when buying smart devices to check if they are Apple Home compatible. They have this icon on the box. You can set automations, automatic functions that execute commands depending on the time of the day. You can create scenes with a brief message set to the HomePod, you can control various actions. For example, when I say, hey Siri, I'm home, a few of the lights turn on and the HomePod starts playing music. You can choose specific playlists or even a radio station. Or you can simply control a specific device with a voice command. Turn off Selassie bed. Also, you can use almost every voice command, like on your phone, weather forecast, set up a timer, set up a reminder, and a lot more. All these functions and settings are accessible through your home app. The app works as a dashboard, so you can have access to all your devices to control them manually. Mainly when the Wi-Fi is not working and the devices aren't responding. <coughs> Sorry. Now let's look at my home setup. The HomePod mini is my main home hub, but I also have two other hubs, Philips Hue Bridge and Akara Camera Hub. Philips Hue Bridge works with all Philips Hue devices like light bulbs or smart plugs. You need to have it connected through the bridge to use voice commands, automations and create scenes through the HomePod mini. That's one of the hate part of this relationship. Let's look at Philips Hue devices I use. I have this dimmable, warm, vintage light bulb in my bedroom, in the living room, and I have two RGB light bulbs in these table lamps. I also connected a smart plug with this not so smart neon sign to make it smart. However, I can only turn it on and off. The second smart plug is connected to this Govi wall lamp, which is smart but not compatible with the Apple HomeKit. So I can turn it on and off, but when I want to change its color or set other options, I need to use the Govi app. Another hate part of this relationship but towards Govi. Please, Govi, make an Apple HomeKit integration. I also have two LED strips, one in the living room behind the TV shelf and one in the closet near our cat's bowl, so she can have a little ambient atmosphere while she's feeding. You can set up as many of these scenes as you want. And you can combine these more accessories however you want to. So you can really customize it and play with it. The second brand I'm using is more technical, I would say. And it's called Akara. I don't really know if I'm pronouncing it right, so yeah. They actually sent me a few of their devices to test them, so let's look at them together. To have all these accessories working, you will need a hub. Luckily, I've owned this camera hub before, so I could connect all the devices in there and they automatically appeared in the Apple HomeKit app. That really surprised me. The Acara Camera Hub G3H is a versatile device that combines the functions of a security camera and a smart home hub. This integration allows it to both monitor your home and connect and control various Acura smart devices. Of course, I don't use that because Apple HomePod is my main hub. The device features a high definition camera that can capture and stream video footage. It is equipped with night vision so you can check the environment even at night. You can also control the camera manually through the app, replay the recordings, and when connected to Apple Home, you can set up how will the camera react when you are out of home or if you come home. It has a 
ton of functions, it's a great camera, I really love it, mainly when we are traveling so we can check up on our cat, so if you want to know more, check the description. A smart radiator thermostat, this is such a cool device, living in an apartment with this post socialistic ugly as radiators is a bit unpleasant and I don't have a clue which temperature it is set to, like 4? What does it mean for? I've got this smart radiator thermostat. It's easy to install and looks very pleasant with its minimalistic design. You can rotate the knob for adjusting the temperature. With one short press you can switch a mode. A long press for 3 seconds is a child lock. On the LED screen you can see the temperature, open window detection and other useful stuff. I'm definitely planning to replace all these old ugliest thermostat heads so maybe I'm gonna give you some update. On my Instagram. You should follow me there. Next is an air quality monitor. This is a pretty minimalistic and simple device. It can monitor the temperature in your apartment, humidity and level of T-walk in the air. Basically air quality levels. You can put it directly on your desk, stick it on the wall using double-sided tape or use a magnetic sticker. Adding this device to the smart home was the same as the thermostat. It happened automatically. One thing that pisses me off though is that in the home app you have the climate bubble which combines the sensors from the home pod and thermostat head. I would love to get these three stats from the air quality monitor on the main screen of the app. Other than that it gets the job done. The last Acura device is Roller Shade E1. It's an automatic roller for your window shades. Honestly I thought it's gonna be a little bit smaller but it is what it is. Mounting of this device is really easy. Easy. I taped it to the window frame, pulled out the gear cover and broke two sides of the cover allowing the string to move and put it back on. Then I've connected it to the Acura hub, calibrated it for the correct movement and set morning and evening automation. One main thing. This device is mainly made for this kind of shades. I don't have them, I only have these blinds. I mean, it is working. All I wanted was to tilt them in the morning and in the evening. But I think it's a little bit of a waste for this device, <laughs> you know, to make a half turn every night and every morning. <laughs> but other than that, this device is cool and I would like to add one more to the second bedroom window. And that's it. Maybe in the future I will get an iPad to act as the main control unit of the smart home, but I don't really think it's necessary because of the voice commands and because I have everything in my phone. Conclusion. The HomePod Mini made my life a bit easier and it always feel a little bit futuristic to be in a smart home and to be able to use a smart home. And it's fun and impressive for the guests. The option to set automation and scenes are a great benefit and the smart devices in general looks good. So if you are considering that you would like to improve your home with smart tech and you are already an Apple user, then HomePod Mini is the right choice. It's well made, gets the job done, different color options will fit in a lot of environments and the price is acceptable. Let me know your thoughts about Apple smart home ecosystem or even your experiences down in the comment section. Like the video and subscribe for more content. Also check out my wallpapers and social media in the description. Thanks for watching and see you soon.